Hello and welcome back to a brand new video and today we are revisiting the icons under 500k. I did this earlier in the year, pretty early on to be honest, and you guys seem to enjoy it. So today we're going to be ranking all the icons under the 500k mark, or well, maybe not all of them, some of the lower tier ones I've just left out, but the main ones. And we're going to be ranking them GOAT tier, S tier, A tier, B tier and C tier. And that's what we're doing today. So if you do enjoy today's video, then you know what to do. Smash the thumbs up button for me, it's greatly appreciated. If you're new around here please do subscribe to the channel for more player reviews fifa related content and rating videos such as this and yeah let's get into it so starting off we've got future grant no winter wild card version for me i'm not a big fan of this card if i'm honest and um, obviously i do like small players small agile players i did like his striker at the beginning of the game but i don't feel like he is anything above a b tier for me maldini he goes for four hundred and eighty thousand coins this is the 90 version so the lowest version yes he has a 87 pace or something like that but he's got like 78 physical and again just not for me so i can't again i can't put him above a b tier i'm very sorry we move on to eric Cantona thunderstruck card now i have recently got his golazo card i do actually really enjoy it i've done a review on him i don't know he's just this Cantona. he hasn't got enough play styles for me obviously he's only got the one play style plus i'm gonna have to go another b tier again we've got alan shearer next winter wild card and yeah these are first C tier. I don't think anyone will argue a case against that, to be honest. Not. Nah. He just, he doesn't cut the mustard, does he? He just does not cut the mustard. We move on and we've got Drogba. Now, Didier Drogba winter wild card. Again, only one play style plus. Quite an old card. Been out for a while. I might get some hate on this, but I'm actually going to go C tier. His new goal lasso card. Absolute goat tier. I have him in my club. He's my starting striker. He bangs in goals, but this one, he doesn't feel anywhere near as agile on the ball it's just not not that great for me if you do have any opinions on these against what i'm saying please let me know in the comments guys please let me know your thoughts and opinions and if you think i've misjudged anyone or if you think someone is better uh, than what i've said let me know in the comments are you tired of coming up against insane teams like mine and you would like to buy the top players and top packs on the game then check out our sponsor u7buy.com for all your fc24 coin needs they are cheap and reliable and already offers some of the best prices out there but if you use code josh97 you can get an extra six percent off at checkout click the link in my description below and get yourself some eafc 24 coins so next up on the list we've got Thierry Henry now I have just done the evolution to make him five star five star tricky Ricardo is it called and that card is amazing so I've been using him quite recently and you know what he still cuts the mustard he really does but obviously he's got a lot more he's got a lot better cards on this game right now so i'm gonna have to give this Henri. I'm saying A-class. Honest to God, I am saying A-class. He still feels pretty damn good on this game, especially for the price. I think he goes for like 250, doesn't he? 250k. And you've probably got him from the SBC as well. I really still enjoy that card. I do. I don't know what it is about him. Maybe it's because it's Thierry Henri. But for me, he still performs on the pit. Then we've got Gold Lazo, the first Gold Lazo card, which is Gary Lineker. He goes for about 70k. But honestly, the price is mad. The price is mad. Don't get me wrong, he's not a top tier icon, but he's still pretty good especially for the price of 70k he's going in the b tier for me but for the price i mean you cannot grumble you can't grumble at that then we got baggio can't remember it's, i think it's future stars isn't it or foot birthday i think it's future stars for me this is an l i don't know what it is with baggio he's just not that great on the game i think it's because he, even though he's dribbling he's 92 i think he has really low agility and balance and on this one they made all of his shooting stats 88 there was no variation in the shooting stats for me and he's going for about 480k as well it's a C. I would not. I'd stay away from that card. 100% stay away from Baggio. If you've done him and you enjoy, let me know. Hugo Sanchez. He's going in the A category. He's an absolute fantastic card. Both versions of him, the five star skills or the five star wheat for. Really good card. And yeah, what can I say? A category. Then we get to on to Nesta. Nesta is a quality quality center back he's going to go in the a category i don't think i can give him any higher than that to be honest because there are some really really good center backs on this list in fact i've not actually got many more of them because people like vidic i've not put vidic in because you can only afford the 91 in this category but he's actually extinct on the market i know his price is only 110k max but i can't put him in here because he's, you can't get him at the moment so i've not put him in the list but 
he would have been up there as well. Um, just a shout out to the man Vidic. Puskas for me. He's got to go in the B tier now. This is base Puskas. He's only got the three star skills. Is it three star skills or three star weak foot? One or two. I think it's three star weak foot actually. It just doesn't cut the mustard. Doesn't cut the mustard. I know you can do him in the tricky Ricardo as well as you could have done Henri in the tricky Ricardo, making him a five star, five star. It'd be definitely higher on that list, wouldn't he? Definitely higher on that list. Then we move on to Fiera. I think this is still a really quality card, really quality CDM. He's going in the A category, 100%. I mean, he's only going for about 250k, something like that. Absolute bargain, lad. This card last year was still like a million coins, if not more, because he was that bloody good at this stage of the game. And someone else who was really expensive at this stage of the game was Jarzinho. Last year, he would have been in GOAT tier, wouldn't he? He would have been in GOAT tier. Everybody had him in your, your teams. He was unbelievable. This year, however, not as good. Obviously, the, they changed the power curve very quickly. We have added these double play style pluses and now it's in the season the triple play style pluses but this is still Jazzino. he's still a very good card and he's going in the a category for me and i think he's going for about 270 280k so absolute bargain again i can't believe some of the prices of these cards to be honest we move on to winter wild card raul now i think raul's underrated i really do but unfortunately this version of him is going to go in the c category for me i think he's a bit too expensive he has got the finesse shot plus he is decent but he's still around the two above 200k mark and for me that is too expensive for this card we will get an s tier and we will get a gold tier i promise you i promise you there's look at the cards that are coming up there's going to be people going into those tiers but for me raul is not that person sen i think he's got to go in s tier he is a godly cdm he really is now you've got the sbc as well oh god i've not done him personally because i've got plenty plenty of center mids and cdms in my team but if you've done this man which i seem to find a lot of people have done him actually in for champs he's really hard to get past in that midfield we've got another thunderstruck icon card and it's lewis figo his highest rated version so far this year but he is behind the power curve so unfortunately he's going to go into the c category now i see a lot of people actually rating this Casillas Thunderstruck card. For me, honest to God, he's one of the worst keepers on the game. I have uh, Van der Sar Thunderstruck in, in net for me and he is unbelievable compared to this man. Honest to God, I think it's his height. He didn't save anything. He really didn't save anything. For, so, for me, he's going in the C category because he's 500k near enough. And you can get a Yashin base. You can get a Czech bait, uh, Czech team of the year in an SBC now. Or you can pick him up on the market. And you can get, few, uh, I think it's Foot Birthday, isn't it? Foot Birthday Van der Sar with the five-star skills. Under 500k. He's got to be in the C tier. He's got to be in the C tier. Now, I have got Grinch Green my club. I've used him. I've reviewed him. Didn't rate him that much. But he's going to still be in that B tier for me. Another one that's quite cheap is a new Golasso uh, Van Persie card. In this version, obviously, you could get the free version from the objective. But this is the higher rated version with the Finesse Shot Plus. And I think he's got Technical Dribbler, if I remember correctly. And and I actually rate this card quite highly. He's pretty cheap. He's definitely worth it. I'm going to put him in the B category. We're moving on. Sol Campbell. For me, this is one of the best centre-backs on the game. Icon-wise, under 500k. So, he's the first one who's going to make it into the GOAT tier for me. Because there's not many centre-backs that are so good. He's got, what, 87 pace, something like that. He's so strong. You could have upgraded him as well in the Golasso Icon Evolution. So he has to go up there for me into the GOAT tier as one of the best centre-backs under 500k icon-wise you can get on the game. David Beckham for me is going in S tier. I absolutely love this David Beckham card with a whip pass. He's got strength. He's got defensive ability. He's got the pace. For me, he's in the S tier. I have him in my squad right now. I play a 4-3-2-1. I have him as the right centre mid. And I use him as a box-to-box. -box. The other two are on, like, sort of stay back. And he just floats up and down that right side. As, like, an extra attacker in some respects. And with a whip pass into Drogba. Or you've got just, just an array of passing ability. It is absolutely insane. Obviously, he has amazing free kicks as well. He's in the S tier. And if you're not done his SBC, go and bloody do it. Because he's absolutely crazy. We move on. To Schweinsteiger now, he's got the two cards that you can get the five star skills or the five star weak foot one again. Both are pretty good. And with the long ball plus, which we all know is absolutely overpowered, he's going into the S tier for me. If you've not used that card, go and try him out. I would play him as like a CDM, as a ball winning, ball playing CDM. Use him as that, feed the ball into him, bomb it up with the long ball. He is absolutely class at that. And then we move on to Laurent Blanc. You 
I think you can only get the five star weak foot version under 500k. I think the five star skills is slightly higher. I could be wrong, it might be the other way around, but one of them is slightly higher than 500, one of them is less. But Laurent Blanc, another absolutely goated centre back on this game. He is unbelievable. Remember right at the start when he got his SBC for his normal card, it was overpowered as hell, and this one is still overpowered as hell, and that's why it's going into the goated section. We move on to Smith, one of the first females on this list. Obviously, there's not many because you've got like Mia Hammy, who's top tier, not above 500k. Then you've got Smith, and then you've got Prince, which we'll get on to Prince in a bit, I think. Yeah, she is on this list. But Smith for me, I'm sorry. She's going into the C tier. Not a great card whatsoever. We move on to Wayne Rooney. Reviewed him on the channel. Absolutely loved him at the time. But I think he's dropped off a cliff right now. Because the amount of cards that are coming out. He only has the one playstyle plus. Which is Traveller. Which is really good to be honest. But he's going into the B category. I can't put him any higher than that to be honest. He's just he's just lacking. We move on to team of the year. Xavi. He's going in the A category for me. Again he's got the long ball plus. Everyone seems to be getting him in the player picks at the moment. But he is a quality, quality centre mid. His passing range is just phenomenal. One of the best passes on the game. And he came out in December and he's still up there. He really is still up there. So for me, A-class, definitely rate him. And another A-class for me is Team of the Year Zola. Again, reviewed this card. Absolutely fantastic. The finesse shot plus. He scores bangers. Absolute bangers. And the versatility on the card. You can play him left wing, right wing, cam, striker, centre forward. You can play him wherever you wanted to across that front line that's why i rate him so much he's very agile obviously quite small he's a bit weak but this card is just banging it really is banging and if you've not tried him go and try him or check out their review and see what he is capable of because he is very very good we move on to capita now this guy 89 pace he's a base icon and he can still he can play center back and right back. He's got to go into the A tier. He's still an absolutely fantastic card. Obviously, I think it's his Future Stars, isn't it? It's our Future Stars or Foot Birthday, which is obviously ridiculously expensive because he's an absolutely ridiculous card. But this card's still in the A tier for a base icon, still really good. And again, another A tier card for me is Zico. Again, a lot of you might have him from the SBCs. He is a class card. I think he's got, well, he's definitely under 500k. I'm not too sure on his price right now, but he is still a quality card. Five star, five star. Star. obviously he has got better cards on the game which are a lot more expensive but for under 500k he's a really really good option now we move on there's going to be a gerard and lampard debate here but i honestly i can't split them they're both going into the b category for me i love them both got them both on uh, lampard and tradable gerard i've bought Liverpool fan he's my favorite player but I can't rate him any higher than B he's not got the agility but he is really good his passing range is good he can shoot from distance he's quite strong at winning the ball back similarly you've got Lampard who's pretty you know they're very similar cards to be honest very similar cards obviously Lampard has the power shot plus rather than in incisive pass I think it is which uh, Gerrard's got so you can have the long range hits with Lampard both really decent options in the midfield and not that expensive as well both under 200k yeah, really good cards. We move on to Golasso Cole. And this is one of the best wing backs on the game for me, hands down. And you could have upgraded him as well. So he goes into the GOAT tier. He is absolutely fantastic. I would highly, highly recommend this card. Um, now then, now then, we have got Van der Sar. And for me, there's only one spot for a goalkeeper in the GOAT tier. And Van der Sar just misses out. He's going into the S tier. He is a very, very top quality goalkeeper. One of the best on the game, but he isn't better than the other man coming very, very soon, which is Petr Cech. We move on to Van Nistelrooy. Done a review on him. Managed to pack him. And he is very underrated. He, honest to God, he's very underrated. But on this list, with the cards that are on this list, he's got to go in the B category for me. I do think he is better than some of these on the C category. And if you go and watch my review of him, he doesn't miss a shot. He really doesn't. Inside the box, that is. <laughs> we move on to Ian Wright. Now, you can have the five-star skills or the five-star weak foot version. And I really enjoy this card. He is absolutely rapid. Thank God they made a usable right card. He's going into the S tier for me. If you're not used him, go and use him. Go and try him. He is absolutely brilliant. Again, another top tier card. We 
Philip Lam, he's going into the S tier. Absolute god. God of a right back. But he's not F tier quality. And similarly with Zanetti. Zanetti's actually my starting right back at the moment. You can get the five star skills again or the five star weak foot one. But Zanetti, oh, with the whip pass plus. This card. Honest to God, don't sleep on that card. Go and get it. Go and try him. He's one of the best right backs on the game. But for me, the GOAT under 500k is the right back Cafu Thunderstruck card. He just, he's the best defensively. Zanetti's probably better going forward because he has that whip pass. But Cafu is so strong. He's so fast. Every time I come up against him, it is an absolute nightmare. It really is a nightmare. So yeah, for me, he's going in the S tier. We move on to Rivaldo. Five star, five star, I think. Really good card. But again, I wouldn't say he is S level or above. So he's going in the A category for me. And Yashin, again, another A, A card. Now, I absolutely love Bobby Charlton. I really do. For some reason, he is absolutely fantastic. New icon to the game and he plays so well. I've got, I think I've got to give him a goat here, to be honest. I really do. I think under 500k for one of the best base icons on the game. You know, he, he has got better cards, obviously. He's got the Golazo card, which isn't that much more expensive, I don't believe. It is obviously above 500k. But if you can afford that, go and try him. Because, oh my God, every time I come up against him, he is just genuinely unbelievable. For me, Xabi Alonso is one of the best CDMs on the game. He has got Intercept Plus and he's got the Long Ball Plus. I have him in my starting team. He is class absolutely class he's strong he wins the ball back and then he can play a 50 yard pass straight into my striker one pass and they're in so for me for a center mid cdm under 500k he's going in the goat tier might be a bit controversial that but he's going in the goat tier i've just realized that we're on the last couple and i've not got a striker in the goat tier we might we might edit it a little bit so we do have a striker in the goat tier but Dennis Bergkamp for me not the greatest card on the game is it this year and previous FIFAs he's not been great and this card is no different so he's going to go into the B category for me and here we go goat tier Petr Cech team of the year best goalkeeper on the game not even He's better than Alisson, team of the year. He is absolutely phenomenal. Every time you come up against this man, you just think, oh God, how am I going to score? Because he is that good. We move on to Prince. Now, Prince, she is very cheap, but she has Aerial Plus and Power Shot Plus. Two really, really good playstyle pluses. And she's under 100k. So for that reason, going to get some hate here, but she's going into the A category. But if you look at all these fellas here, they're way above 100k. Maybe not Van Persie. But a lot of these are above, massively above 100k. You've got someone there with amazing, amazing shooting. Decent pace. Got the strength. Got aerial plus. Got power shot plus. And under 100,000 coins. What more could you want? What more could you want? And taking into consideration the price of that card. And how she performs. And the rating as well. A category for her, I think, is solid. I really do. Might get some hate on that. Do let me know in the comments, but yeah. Um, we finish up with Muller, who, again, is a good card, but I think it's a very expensive card. Does have Finesse Shot Plus, but for me, is not a top-tier icon. Yes, good top-tier rating, but he's not a top-tier icon. And for that reason, he's going to go into the A category. Because we haven't got an actual striker in this, I'm going to move Ian Wright into the goated tier. I think that's the only right thing to do. And if we were going to push someone who's a striker slash centre forward up from A tier into the S tier, I'd go with Zola. Uh, so we're going to make two changes in there. Goated is Ian Wright. He's just so fast, so agile. And that's weird to say for an Ian Wright card because previous FIFAs, he's not had the agility and balance. But this one, he feels so good. And with the 95 pace, holy, he's fast. And if you get the five stars, skills one just unbelievable it really is an unbelievable card and Zola again i reiterate it the finesse shot plus for me and the agility balance he is so quick so nimble on the ball and then you can bob off the finesse shot from 25 yards and it's going flying in the top corner every single time for that reason 
I've moved them up slightly, so we've got a couple more attackers in that top, top half. That is my ratings for under 500k. If you have enjoyed today's uh, video, then please do leave a like and subscribe and mute. Let me know if you will make any changes to this. Let me know if I'm doing something absolutely bizarre and you think, Josh, what the hell have you done there? Let me know in the comments. But this is my rating. I reviewed quite a lot of these cards, actually, so go and check those out. Zola is one of them. I really love Zola and I really love David Beckham. But yeah, let me know. Who would you change on this list? Well, that's my list. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you all later.